Hey guys, welcome back to my small engine repair channel. Today I'm going to show you how to install a hand warmer kit on your Arian snowblower. Now today I'm doing this on a new Arian's Deluxe SHO model. And here's the model number here on the left of this machine. And here's the part number right here for this kit. And you'll have to get this at your Arian's dealer. And here are all the contents out of this kit. You want to make sure to follow the instruction sheets or my video because it's crucially important. The first thing you should do according to the instructions is remove the key. Key goes right in here and also disconnect the spark plug for safety reasons. Now what you need to do is disconnect the headlight wire which is underneath the console. So what I have to do is lift this little tab just like this and then pull on the harness. Try not to pull on the wires. Try to pull on the socket here so you don't pull the wires out. There we go. And once you have it off, just leave it dangling there. Now the instructions specify to remove the harness that we unplugged from the headlight. And to do that, we have to snip all the zip ties that hold it onto the frame. And it's going to go all the way down here and up to this plug. So I'll start up here and snip it here. Now when you snip it over here, you want to make sure you're just snipping the zip tie. You don't want to cut anything else. And at this point, just disconnect the connector here. And now you will not need the old wiring harness to continue. And what you can do too, as you are installing this kit, is you can check mark all the steps that you've done. So we've done up to step three. I'm going to turn over. Now what you need to do at this point is figure out if your panel is under control A or control panel B. So I'm going to check that out right now. Now if I look here, it looks like I have the control panel A and it's going to show you where to drill that half inch hole to insert the switch. So basically it would end up being at about here. But before you drill, you want to make sure that there are no obstructions underneath here that will get in the way of the switch. So I've decided to put the switch right here. I've made a little dot here with a Sharpie marker. And what's most important here is you want to make sure where you will drill and put the switch that nothing will be hitting it or getting in the way. So I'm going to go ahead and drill the hole. You can also make a notch here with a starter punch as well if you don't want the drill bit to dance around. I've got some special drill bits here so I don't need to do that. Again, it's a half inch drill bit that you will need to drill the hole for the switch. Now clean off all the shavings. I'm just going to tab this flush again. Okay, now grab your switch, take the nut off, take the washers off, but leave the one, the washer with the notches here, the traction washer at the bottom. And you want to install the switch in this position here. So I'm going to go from underneath with the switch kept in this position. So just reach under the console. Now put your washer on. Now put the nut on. Now what you want to do is hold the switch underneath, grab a 9 16th wrench and tighten up that nut. And again, you want to keep the switch in this position. And it's a very thin nut, so you really have to push down and put it on fairly tight because these machines do vibrate a lot. Now, since these machines vibrate a lot, I will put one dab of blue Loctite here. It'll help prevent the switch from coming apart. Again, this is optional, by the way. So the next step here is to remove the hand grips. Now, you can cut these off with an X-Acto knife, but if you want to save the hand grips, I'm going to show you a cool trick right now that you've seen in a previous video. So if there's not a hole here at the end of the hand grip, I just poke one with a screwdriver. Now what I'm going to use is my blowgun. I've got my compressor set at 90 PSI. If you do it this way, make sure to wear safety glasses. Now what I do is I insert the blowgun inside the hole I poked. Now since the tubes aren't sealed, I have to go on the edge here between the handlebars and the grips. And then I just blow the air in. It kind of swells up the grip and it makes it super easy to remove. So this way here, I don't have to cut them off and throw them out. And again, I will do the same on this one here. Okay. 
And I've got the two hand grips. You can save these for another machine if you want. Now what you want to do is grab the two caps here from the kit. And what you need to do is put one at the end of each handlebar. So just line it up evenly here and just push it in. Now it's time to install the actual warming grips. And to do this, we need to use the epoxy that came in the kit. And the instructions clearly specify that when you're doing this, putting the glue on, that you do this at room temperature. If you don't do it at room temperature, the glue will not work as well and it will not cure as it should. Now what's really important here guys, after you've mixed the epoxy from the kit, you have to put it inside the grips and within five minutes, you have to put these on the handlebars. The glue will start getting hard after five minutes. That's why it's critical that you do this right away once the glue is mixed and applied inside the grips. And here's the epoxy. The instructions are on the container. It says to remove the protective film, then push down on center of kit to form cup, mix thoroughly and apply. Now grab the little stir stick you had in the kit, push down on the container here. This is to form a little cup so you can access the other part of the epoxy. Then just mix it all in together. And remember, you only have five minutes to do this before the glue starts to get hard. So I'm gonna try to go as quick as I can here. Now what you need to do is put half of the resin inside of one hand grip and then the other half in the other. And it's good if you wear gloves when you do this. There, I think that's pretty good now. Now the instructions say to install these in a circular motion. And it doesn't matter which grip that you use on which side because they are both the same. So it's going to take a little bit of force here. You want to bring it right to the end. So my glove broke during the installation here, so I just took it off. And this is the position you want the grip to be installed. Now I'm going to put in the left grip. And make sure you have it pushed in all the way in, all the way in. And again, here's the position that your grips should be installed. The left hand side, you can see the wires on the inner part or inner side. Same on the right hand side as well. And now you have your plugs and you can run these wires right under here and do the same on this side as well. And here's an important tip here. It says to allow the epoxy to cure for 24 hours before using the unit. Now it's time to install the wiring harness. There is an adapter that came with it for the light. So depending on the connection on your light bulb, you may or may not have to use this adapter here. Now, since the old harness had a connector like this to the light bulb, I will have to use the harness and plug it in to the other harness so that I can plug in my light with the same connector. So I'm just going to connect it at this end. So at this point, you can refer to the pictorial images in the instructions or follow my instructions here in the video carefully. So I'm going to start at this end here of the harness. I'm going to plug it into the connecting wires that come out of the engine here. Again, this plug only goes in one way. So normally there's a small clip like this at the other end of the harness that you just plug right in here. It is broken off of the harness, so I'm just going to tie wrap it to the handlebars. But if you do have the little clip, just push it into the hole here. Now I'm going to use the zip ties from the kit and zip tie this to the handlebars. Now just run the wires through the handlebars here. Now the first connector I'm going to connect is the one for the headlight. And this is pretty well the easiest one to do right now. So there it is. You can see why I needed the adapting uh, harness here for my bulb. This snowblower has an LED light. So push in until you hear that clicking noise. So at this point here, what you want to do is get all the wires up here 
And what I will do is zip tie the harness after everything is connected, just in case I routed it the wrong way and I need to move them again. So right here, I'm using the plug from the harness that is the closest to the right hand side of the machine. And I am plugging in the right hand grip. And here's a better look. It's right here. Now I'm going to move the harness and go connect the hand grip on the left hand side. But first I'm going to route it above all the mechanical parts here and now connect it. Now I'll grab the wire with the red plastic cover on the connector and plug it on the back tab of the switch. And then what you want to do is connect the two wires that are hooked into one connector on the other tab of the switch, just like that. Okay, so I've got the machine up like this to show you the wiring harness more clearly. So the wiring harness comes up underneath the control console. There's two plugs like this, one for each hand grip as I showed earlier. Then you have the one to the light and then you have the switch. So you can see the red wire or the one with the red plastic is on the back and you can see that the yellow wire is on the tab facing the front of the machine. So what's really important when you install the wiring harness is you want to make sure it is not getting caught in any of the mechanical parts. You don't want the wires to be rubbing on metal parts because they will wear out. And also make sure where you install the switch that there are no obstructions underneath the console. And here's another view from the top. You can see the position that the grips are installed in as I showed earlier. And the switch is here. This should be the off position I believe. This should be the on position. I will test the machine out after the glue has cured. And now once you're done, do not forget to reconnect the spark plug boot. And there we go, man. These grips are nice. They were great. And again, when the switch is in this position, they are on, off this position. So if you hook up all the wires the way I showed you, you should not have an issue at all. And as you saw, it's not that hard to do. Just get the kit, bookmark my video, and you're in business. Well, I hope the video helped you guys because I've been asked for many years now to make a video on installing hand grips. And again, get the kit from your Arians dealer, and I will put the part number in the video description so that when you go to a dealer, You've got the part number ready to go. And even though I did it on the Arians Deluxe SHO machine, the same procedure will also apply to many other Arian snow blowers and also different makes as well, but the wiring will the wiring will be different if you do this on a different brand. Thanks again for watching, guys. Make sure you're subscribed and that you're following me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Have a great day.